Yeah, I should probably do something about that. What's up, MSFers? I was meditating this morning thinking about gravity. And I was thinking about how there's a disagreement of the origins of gravity, whether it's a particle in a field, like a Higgs field, or whether it is the, um, oh, did we just get a valley club coming in here or something? <laughs> oh, okay, what's up, TLC? Whether it's a particle in a field, like a Higgs field, or whether it is a byproduct of our progression through time in a warped space field and the variations of those things and how those two theories could actually be intermingled. And none of that has anything to do with stream. I just thought I'd share my morning thoughts with you because I kind of wanted to get it before everybody gets in here. I know there's a lot of science dorks that show up. Speaking of dorks, we're gonna be having Dorky Dad join us for our seven streams of Christmas interviews. How'd you like that? transition that was pretty smooth right probably would have been smoother had i not pointed it out to you but that's okay we don't come here to see me succeed also we are going to be giving away the age of ultron versus marvel zombies comic series there are it looks like four different comic books in this series which looks super cool with ultron and zombies some of my favorite stuff going on in there <clears throat> so that'll be fun. Hold on, let me get that thing going for you because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that... What are we gonna call that one? Let's go here. And we're gonna go to... Nightbot. Giveaways. Keyword, keyword is exclamation point Ultron. U-L-T-R-O-N, I did spell that correctly. Exclamation point Ultron to be entered into that giveaway. Just enter it one time. If you enter it more than once, you'll be removed from the giveaway. So what's up, MSFers? What's up, Sinister? What's up, Shit Shaker? What's up, Sifu Shan? What's up, Midnight? What's up, Relic? What's up, TLC? What's up, Dominic? What's up, Zoomy? What's up, Cleaning Agent? What's up, Double Ketchup? What's up, Hammer Time Kitten? What's up, Way Too Raw for you? What's up, Oaks? What's up, Commander Root? What's up, Demonic? What's up, Delgarn? What's up, Hiding from Real Life? What's up, Knight? What's up, Hollitz Carmen? <laughs> Anybody I miss? What's up, The Birdle? And what's up, Todd? How y'all doing today? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited for this uh, this dorky dad interview coming up, which is going to be spectacular. Got a whole bunch of good questions worked out for him. I am excited for giving this comic book away. No, I'm not at all excited about giving this comic book away. I want to keep this comic book to tell you guys the truth. <laughs> I like Ultron. I like zombies. And it's Ultron and zombies, so that looks pretty cool. Kind of don't want to give that away. Oh, one other thing that I need to help, that I need help with from you guys is figuring out what I'm going to be buying with my presents. There is new pricing in the store. We now know that Nemesis is going to be... 1,750,000 presents. So I got to figure out... I'm told that it is the present milestones are clearable. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my presents. So we'll probably take a look at that. But first... Let's go do some dailies, right? Let's do some dailies while everybody shows up in here. Oh, what's up, Ciro? Sorry. What's up, OG Lurk? How did I miss C Ciro in there? I don't know. Okay. We'll go through here and get some stuff done. We're supposed to be able to get that in just the last week. Yes. So... Nemesis will appear in week four for 1,750,000 presents. It's my understanding that if we clear the milestones, we get 2,400,000. Is that it? So that means once cleaning agent says, redeem Nemesis twice and use your pocket change presents on gear. Is that it? How many presents am I gonna get if I clear the milestones? Somebody told me that Boylan says that we can clear the milestones free to play. Zero getting their tracks on. 
Yeah, that's it. Zero, you weren't you weren't moving around enough, so you went invisible there, buddy. Uh, I just clicked on that. What am I doing? Get out of here! The events has some red dots. Starts in two days. The death scourge starts in two days, and we're supposed to get our chromium in the orbs just before the death scourge starts. So be sure to save all your orbs. Remember. Marvel Horde Force 2.0 since we found out about the Raid of Death or whatever that stupid milestone is. Hold on, what is it? It's the Raid of Fortune. The Raid of Fortune, which we need to be saving for its collect miles, your raid credits, save everything. No warning of that one coming in. Herald of Death. What's Herald of Death? Oh, this is uh, War Dogs in War. Got it. I think we can handle that one. Who needs presents when you have this stud on the screen? What's up, Rich on Chips? I was coming in and put a smile on my face. How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Sitting in 1,600 orange elites. Woo! Midnight. Ready to pop those babies. My chair's all screwed up. I keep kicking my camera because my chair is in the wrong spot. What's the news on the minions, shit shaker? The news on the minions is this. I love this. There were some inquiries asking if minion characters are receiving reworks. There are no plans currently for reworks to characters with the minions trait. However, regarding the Death Scourge event, we have slightly adjusted the difficulty of nodes requiring minions to be easier and allow for more variety of team composition. Could have used that info three fucking weeks ago instead of everybody losing their absolute minds over the damn minion nodes. It's a bunch of bullshit. They held off on that messaging for a reason. You can't make me believe that that was some checkers gaming right there. Now, I don't believe that they're super smart, but that was an easy choice for them to say, yeah, let's just let them worry about it and spend some, some money first. How many people brought up minions to like level 90? And they're not gonna need them there. I see they fixed the double red star orbs. Yeah, that was only up for like 20 minutes, I heard. Same reason they just telling us now that Chromium is going into the orb store. Exactly, Rorix. They, they wanted to wait until people used up all their orbs not knowing about stuff until the last minute. They did not want people hoarding orbs in preparation of the Chromium coming out. I was fortunate in that I just had no need to open up my orbs. I'll show you what I got. I don't even know because I never really look at them. Plus, I need to shop the store while we're here. Um, I like these. I'll go ahead and get them. Nothing worth spending the money on there. All right, so I got some basics, which I will open during a dropped rate. Got some more basic basics, some basic basics. I got 10 gold orbs. I'm hurting on gold, man. I'm trying to save up, but as you can see, eight mil, it's gonna hurt. It's just Dark Beast. I unlocked them and I just took them to the moon as fast as I could. Got some legacies that I never need to open. I got 98 training orbs. I had to pop a few of those for Dark Beast. T3, T2 ability orbs. Uh, six megas. Milestones. And then I got 61 14s. 46 15s. 97 16 teals. And 9 17 teals. Not looking too good there. I wish I had a few more of those. I don't open anything. I just never open anything in here. Um, same thing with the raid orb stuff. Like the 337 teal gear raid orbs. I don't know. Is that a lot? 100 or 1000 orange elite orbs. 62 teal elite orbs. Bunch of alpha raid orbs. I just don't even go. I don't even scroll through this stuff anymore. All right, let's go click on some things in here. These look good. Anything under 2,000 gets a click. That's eh, close enough to 2,000. We'll get a bit of a click here. And this one here. Yeah, those are good enough. Good enough, good enough. All right, looking fantastic. Moving on. 
Nothing interesting there. I have some credits saved up there. I don't know if that's a lot or not. I, I really, I never really look to see what other people are doing or compare myself. I think I've got him maxed. Yeah, I do. And I don't think I need any of this stuff. I've got enough for Phantom X. Looking pretty solid in all the other places. I'd like these, but I'm not, I'm getting low on the creds, so I'm gonna hold off. And then of course I'm out of stuff to buy here, so probably won't get anything there. Um, I could probably get some gear if I wanted to, but eh. Hand Blade Master, five red stars, let's go! And then we've got some, I got 15 fours, no fives, no sixes, and one seven. So that's my orb count, everybody. Look at those orbs and drool. My minis are 70 at the moment. All the people that didn't listen to me, says Zero. After putting out, I didn't do anything to minions. After putting out all these offers for minion teams, I brought them to 81. Oh, hell no, 75 or bust. <laughs> I didn't orange gear Zim, so my level of carrying on chromium not in orbs is eh. yeah i think i took i don't i think i took zim to 13 or 14 i didn't go into teal i was like hell no i wish i would have stopped at 12 with zim i really do let's take a look whenever you're ready i'd like to go there thank you uh, i took him to 13 okay Joke's on Scopely, I only play this game to hoard. <laughs> I've been hoarding the orbs and in-game mail, learned my lesson. <laughs> Looks at orbs and mails, my precious. <laughs> Definitely considering the Agatha shards would get mine to 6-6. Six, six. All the orange uniques you need can be bought in raid stores. What's up, Rayvarn? I don't know if I thanked you for that gifted sub the other day, Rayvarn, but thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. You don't throw out your old socks. You might need them for an MSF event, my stone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that, Rorix. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't hoard everything. I have such a hard time with red dots. Demonic, don't worry, buddy. Play this game long enough. You'll get over the red dots. People hate, like, they look at my Discord and see, like, that I'm a member of Valley Flyin's Discord and have over 1,000 red dots there. It drives them nuts to see that stuff. It drives people nuts when they look at my roster and see 1,183 red dots. And I'm like, dude, I'm over it. Red dots don't phase me at all. I'm collecting red dots. That's, that's what we do when we play Marvel Strike Force now. It's not about who can clear Doom 3.5 in one shot. It's about who has the most red dots on their screen. You asked about how many people spent money and built their minions way up thinking that minions would be tough nodes. I was saying all the people that didn't listen to me in response to ICC. Did you see what, what Porky Dad did with the shield minions? Yes, I did. I did. Yeah, we'll probably discuss Porky Pad there today also with with uh, with James today. I'm kind of curious about some of that stuff. I don't hoard really either unless I remember to. No, hoard the hoarding isn't fun. And what really sucks is the mailbox hoarding. Because you basically go down here and you see what's about to expire. And then if it's if it's on day one, you look at it and go, okay, I need that. And if it's not, don't touch it. Just don't don't even open it. Don't look at it. Don't think about it. In fact, I need to get away from this window. I could accidentally click something. You don't want it. We don't need anything there. I think what happens is is you look at the events and you go, okay, is there something I need? Like collect snowballs. Then I would look through my mailbox and see if there's any snowballs to collect but I don't even need to do that until the last day of this event. So I don't have to worry about that one. Same thing with seasons of savings, right? I could go through my mail and see if there's any ice cubes in there. 
I think there's a rapper joke in there someplace, but I couldn't get to it. All right, earn Deathbringer Orb Fragments. How do we earn Deathbringer Orb Fragments? Isn't there like a campaign or something someplace? Let's see, I think there's a campaign we're doing. No? Heroes, villains. I don't know if I went through. 3-1. Oh, I, I haven't done these yet. Okay, I guess this is what we're doing this morning. Play new campaign, Mr. Seven. Will do. Just for you, Zoomy. <laughs> the web store. <laughs> you get him in the web store. Let's see. How hard is this going to be? Oh, this is auto all the way. The nodes give more than the rest by a whopping one. Hard difficulty. Okay. We'll get there then. We'll start doing that. What's up, Reaper? How you doing, buddy? We still on for Friday? Awesome. Everybody, Friday morning, we'll have Reaper on for his interview. Going to find out what make, makes Reaper tick. I had a hell of a time getting through the new nodes. I know, no story, right, cleaning agent? No story. <laughs> it must have been rough for you. I don't know how long I can do this for on stream, guys. I don't like doing the boring stuff on stream. This is super boring stuff for me. <laughs> What's K-E-K-W stand for, Zoomy? I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not an acronym person. T-Dub had to explain to me what a DILF was. <clears throat> Probably should have known that one, but whatever. Do I have him? Oh, yeah. K-E-W-K is an emote and term used to show in the chat that we are having a big laugh. Okay. Wait till they come up with legendary difficulty. When they come up with legendary difficulty, we'll be in gear tier 18 by then and it won't matter. The, the new tough content is never for the most hardcore players, which is weird. A DILF is a common term used to describe run seven. A dork I'd like to forget. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I think, can I spend cores today, guys? Can I, can I refresh the 50s? Are we waiting for something? Do I need to go check? Now we're all in the cuke. We are all cuking together. I still don't know what it actually stands for. This is where it originated from. Okay, hold on a second. Let's pause this music. Let's switch over to the right window. Man, I need to color code these buttons. It's taking me too long to find them. Let's make sure we got the volume up and the browser volume is up all the way. So this might blow my ears out, I don't know. <laughs> That's it? That's, that's cuke? I paused stream for that? <laughs> okay. All right, by the way, exclamation point Ultron to be entered into the drawing if you're just joining us. The giveaway today is Ultron versus the mutant Marvel zombies. It's a four piece series. It's a good one. Uh, enter yourself in one time. If you enter yourself in twice, you will be removed from the drawing. So be sure to put in exclamation Ultron into chat to be entered into that drawing. That will happen after our interview with Dorky Dad. That Dorky Dad interview coming up here in about oh, 20 minutes, probably. Um, where am I? Where am I? Play music. Relic. Yeah, it's kind of US only. I can. I mean, 
I can send them, but man, it gets brutal on the shipping and handling. I don't know, I, you know, it's kind of like, I didn't really know how to handle covering the overseas one. Like, if you're not really into comics and you live overseas, maybe wait for somebody else and save me the, the money because I'm broke as a joke, man. And, uh, but if you are really into comics, I'll send it to you. If you are really into comic books and you really want this and you win it, I will send it to you if you live in Zimbabwe. I don't want to exclude anybody, but at the same time, like I just don't want people who are gonna throw this away, making me pay the 15 bucks shipping to send it to them. But yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. No love for the Canadians? Yeah, I got lots of love for the Canadians, shit shaker. I'm bringing one on to interview here. If you win, just pull another one. Relic, if you win and you want me to pull another one, I will make sure to gift you a subscription to the stream myself, just as a thank you for passing that on to somebody who's a little cheaper. Split the difference on that, buddy. What we want to know is, did you read them and where? I did not read them on the toilet. I will tell you that. And I, OG Lurk with the sun. Resubscribing with Prime for five months, OG Lurk. Thank you very much. You are fucking awesome. And Ravar gifting out a sub to the community. Ravar is fucking awesome as well. <clears throat> awesome jackets come in all sizes. You guys are wearing them. And remember, once you put them on, you cannot take them off. All right, so I do not read these comic books on the toilet. I am actually, when it comes to comic books and collectibles and other stuff like that, I'm a little bit of a germaphobe and I, I do like to wash my hands beforehand. And when a comic book gets over the $50 threshold for value, that's when I bring out like gloves and tweezers, no joke. I like really like to take care of my collections. So these are clean as a whistle and to tell you the truth, I have not read this one yet. Yet, but before I send it off, I may take a gander. <laughs> Am I bringing Dorky on just to tell him his Canadian ass can't win my contest? If you guys live overseas and you're into comic books, I'm happy to send them to you. I just don't want to be paying extraordinarily exorbitant uh, shipping fees to send them to somebody who's going to throw them away. That's all. Way better than MCU Age of Ultron in my opinion. Age of Ultron book one. That's cool. Variant edition. I wonder how many cover different cover arts this one has. I always think it's cool when you have different cover arts for it. I, I don't know. I don't know, Dorky Dad. I don't know. <laughs> Cleaning agents in Canada too. I think he'd know <laughs> where Canada is. Either that or he drank way too much maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, by the way, am I am I collecting? Am I saving ISOs or can I refresh energy today, guys? I forgot to check the events and I just I honestly just don't care so much. Special request. If I win, can you please read it on the toilet before sending it? Asking for a friend. <laughs> no. No. I can't do that. Save power cores for Raid of Fortune event. Save power cores for Raid of Fortune event. I thought the Raid of Fortune event was two days. Hold on, now you guys are making me go look. I don't know why I ask you guys. Damn it, you guys should know better. You don't come here to learn, you come here to help me. That's how the stream works. Death, oh the Death Skirt starts in two days. Relic Hunt in two days, Nowhere Heist in two days, Rate of Fortune is in, oh, four hours. Four hours, you're right, <laughs> you're right, my bad. <laughs> Demonic was right, sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst streamer ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daily objectives, am I hoarding these? Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna hoard everything till tonight, screw it. There's no point. I'm gonna hoard everything till tonight. <laughs> I won't open it until I absolutely have to. I don't think I have to blitz anymore. That's good. Let's do some more attacks and get a few of these knocked out. I think I think war started last night. I might have done a few of these. 
Is Raid a fortune event for raids? Because I don't think even if that's the case, it's worth... Curring raid attacks? Saving raid attacks? So, <clears throat> it's... Yes, it's for gaining raid credits, which you gain raid credits from each attack, from collecting your mail, from the payout at the end of the raid, all that stuff. From what I understand, the thing's kind of easy to get anyways. Like, if you just raid hard, you're gonna get it. It's gonna raid credits and spend power cores. You can spend ISO campaign to prevent from capping. Yeah, I'll spend it. I'll spend it down from the cap, but I just won't refresh. Special request: If any overseas Canadians win, can you film yourself reading the comic out loud on the toilet and just send us the video? What is it with you guys? <laughs> I honestly want to get a fake toilet, put it in front of the green screen for a bunch of gag stuff. I think it'd be great because <laughs> I'm weird like that. Yeah, let's go the audiobook route. <laughs> Just read it to the foreigners <laughs> from a toilet, too, apparently. <laughs> it's raid credits. There's one on the web store for raid attacks. Oh, there's a. Oh, that's right. That's the one of Viv all lounging. Yeah, okay. Don't cancel if you lose any war. I never cancel my war attack zero. <laughs> I punched down 500k in war and hit auto on 200k punch ups with the absolute wrong team. Don't touch anything ever except your wallet. Love MSF. Okay. All right, let's do some quick war attacks real fast and then we're gonna drag Dorky Dad in here and get to an interview. Wow, my alliance just like decided to go hard all of a sudden. Hey, there's the right size. I think I got a team for this. If it'll work, come on, go. Whoa. Oh, they took the, okay. <laughs> I was like, why is this? Uh, I remember. <clears throat> What's up, Benny Westside? How you doing? Benny, everybody wants me to read comic books from the toilet. That's the chat you're hanging out with. That's the chat you entered, Benny. I'm just giving you the heads up, okay? I'm not gonna do it, obviously. Not until James gets here, anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Benny's like, yeah. Is Valley still on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just for, oh, sorry, Shinshake. No, it's just for the Canadians. The Canadians want the toilet audio. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, I killed her. I killed her. Dang it. Oh, I'm too powerful. I'm just too powerful. Can you believe I landed that stun? That's pretty cool. Where's Luke Cage's charges? Where'd they go? How come Luke Cage doesn't have any charges? He didn't have any charges. I barely hit him. I barely scratched you, pansy. All right, um, I think I should probably go over here. Sometimes when I, like, don't take Shang-Chi seriously, he just, like, whoops my ass. Let's do some... Oh, that's not gonna double tap. Why are his... He's missing an icon over here. They're not arranged the right way. That annoys me. Steel health, clear negative effects. Who cares? Just go. Get him! Okay, and we're gonna try this basic over here. That worked out well. We can hit auto. <clears throat> I hate when Luke is in the middle. What I hate is when I take my Weapon X team into H for H on a punch down and they beat me because my Omega Red kills them on accident. It's the only matchup where you're punished for punching down. You're punished for killing the enemy. It's just, it's dumb. I just hate it. I hate the H for H team. 
I hate the counters for it. Other than the dark hunters, I'm unhappy with this counter. This counter I can punch up quite a ways. This Canadian wants nothing to do with any toilets. Okay, Freakzill, we'll, we'll exclude you. I extremely dislike that the new campaigns are 120 energy instead of 100 for max attempts. I don't know really about the extra 20 energy. It's just 100 was so much easier to plan on farming. And JSWAT, it's even worse for people who are not at max commander level, but were able to push into those harder difficulties. Like they played really hard because they won't have the 100 and like, well, I guess you're probably gonna have a max of 120 energy, no matter what player level you are at that range. So it's probably gonna work out for everybody. But yeah, they, they, they changed it to be kind of like the ISO campaign energy, how you can clear a node, but it costs an entire refresh of energy. <clears throat> kind of lame. Yeah, Whoops Hammer knows what's going on. If you guys want to be entered into the drawing for the Ultron versus m Zombies, Age of Ultron versus Zombies. One more time from the top. If you want to be entered in the drawing for the Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies comic series, it's a four part series. Please type in exclamation point Ultron into chat. That will put you in the drawing. Do not enter more than once or you will be removed from the drawing. <clears throat> And after our interview with Dorky Dad, which is gonna happen right about now, we will have that drawing and, and, and do stuff and things. Okay, what's this? Why is that open? I need to double check and make sure. Okay, that needs to be closed. Then we're gonna go to, let's go over to the interview. Oh, I don't have a button for that. I have to go manually switch over to the interview screen, which is right there. <clears throat> YouTube, we'll be right back. YouTube, we're back after that interview with Dorky Dad. It was a good one. He basically answered every question I had, and I had some tough questions for him, too. So that was a good one. Look for that video coming out soon. Usually takes me a full day to edit those things together. I'll be doing my best. But chat is ready to pull the trigger on the drawing for this comic book, which I will ship to Canada which is not overseas, all right? <laughs> I will ship to Canada. Or if the Canadians want, I'll read it to them from the toilet. They're a bunch of weirdos, but we can do that. So last chance for anybody who has an exclamation Ultron in the chat will put you in the drawing. Do not enter more than once or you will be removed from the drawing. Let me bring that window up so you guys can see that I'm not lying and that I am actually doing this. Dorky Dad just subscribed. Thank you, Dorky Dad. You are fucking awesome, buddy. And thank you for being here and doing that interview with me. All right, let's go right window so you guys can see we're... <laughs> Cleaning agent types in Faltron. Oh, Rayvarn gifted a one, one month subscription to Dorky Dad Isles. It always says they subscribed up here, but it's actually somebody else when they gift the sub. It shows who the gift went to. Maybe I should fix that. I don't know. Rayvarn, you are fucking awesome, my guy. You have been gifting out so many subs on this channel. I very much appreciate that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to roll this thing. Remember, I'll ship it anywhere. I don't care how much it costs. I will ship it overseas to Canada if that's where it needs to go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. And the winner is a mad scientist. That's right, a mad scientist. If you are still here, please say hello in chat so I know that you know, and we can get a hold of you via Discord so I can get your mailing address, exclamation Discord in chat to throw up the Discord location there. Mad scientist, are you available? Are you here? Uh, let me check them. Ooh, I do. Oh, there's a, it says that a mad scientist is here. It says a mad scientist is in chat. So a mad scientist, I need you to type something in chat. Let me know that you know. This is the fun part. This is the part I love. Just sitting here staring at chat. People are, uh, 
people are typing in a mad scientist name over and over and over to see if they're <laughs> mad scientists on the toilet right now. I can't type back. There he is. There's a mad scientist, a mad scientist. Please find my discord link. Find me there, message me your mailing address, and I will get you the Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, the series. Congratulations on that. Oh, your boss came in. Yeah, that's what sucks about doing these morning streams. Everybody's at work <laughs> with like their earbuds in, <laughs> cheating it out. All right, let's go back to, I gotta switch playlist. I gotta go to the liked, play, liked songs playlist. Yeah, I want something different than that. Okay, let's get back to Marvel Strike Force. Here we go. Congratulations, a mad scientist. I will get that get that in the mail. In fact, I'm going to be sending off all of those today. All of the the previous ones I haven't sent those off yet cuz I'm lazy. So I'm going to go to the post office and get them all packaged up today and send them in one big bunch. All right. I have four more war attacks I need to do. I don't want to do Gamma. I don't want to go into Gamma. You can't make me. Have I settled on a minion team miniatures? I have miniatures. I have settled on three minion teams. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I'm going to wait for the Scourge event to start. I'm going to go with my first choice. And if it doesn't quite get me where I want it to go, Rather than building that team up higher, I'm gonna build up more teams. My idea is to go through here and I'll show you, I think I've got some of them already. Verse battle highlighted. Verse battle favorites, here we go. So I'm gonna be doing Merc Lieutenant and Merc Riot Guard because they're already big. I'm gonna be adding in the three Ravagers to that team. I'm gonna be doing the, the aim team as well, excuse me. I'm going to be doing the aim team as well, and I'm going to be doing the shield team. Those were some of the three top picks that everybody had. I'm going to bring them all up to gear tier 12, level 65 or 60. I don't remember. Whatever gear tier 12 is. Going to be bringing them up there, and then I'm going to be testing those out at the highest difficulty I can get through with them and seeing which team does it best. So that's my goal, is to level up all three teams. But I'm going to start with probably... It's kind of weird because like I've got the, the two mercs and then I've got the Ravagers. Like the two mercs are built up, but my Ravagers are some of the lowest on the list. So I was kind of thinking about fleshing out the aim team first, seeing how they do. If they're crushing it at the level that the rest of my roster can't handle, then I'll probably stop. But if my roster is handling the rest of the Scourge better and can go to a higher difficulty and these guys can't seem to get through the first two notes, then I'm going to be bringing up Mercs and Ravs and then I will bring up the AIM team and see how that goes. Zero says, please don't waste that much resources on minions. Zero to bring him up to gear tier 12 level 60 isn't a lot. For me, it's 15 million gold to do that. If I wanted to bring one of those teams up to gear tier like 14, level 75, that would be more than the 15 million for all three teams. So it's actually cheaper for me to go low and wide than it is to go high and narrow. This kind of bullshit is why I'm glad I gear 12 to my entire roster ages ago. How much gold do I have? 8 million and 10 orbs is what I've got. 8 million gold and 10 orbs at this point in time. Honestly, I'm trying to save most of that up for Archangel. So we'll see. You know, like I said, it's probably going to be shield first, then the mercs and ravs, and then aim security. Just depends on what gets me through and where the testing can go. 130k Hydra Sniper. Yes, run seven, the low rider. Okay, let's get back to those war attacks. I gotta do a, I think I gotta attack Gamma. I'm gonna go Gamma into Gamma. It's like 100% punch down. I cut my spending last meet, week to one mil per day, already gotten up to 23 mil. It's crazy how fast that actually builds up. Exara, they're, 
they're giving us a little bit more gold these days unfortunately not training mats i've been my training mats have been coming down a bit i do need to get back to that one million a day way too raw savings plan that i used to brag about all the time like you know dark beast came out and i just put them to 90 in one day just put them to 90 in one day what where's my gamma i must have used oh i think i did a gamma on gamma attack already all right let's see if we can beat gamma with this then this should be i should have no trouble doing this but we'll give it a, we'll give it a try just remember what happens every time you don't listen to me at least it will make for good content with yet another zero was right video that that'll be the thumbnail zero I don't actually make educational videos. I do defense up, I do recap, and I do my streams. Like, if you guys want to join me here and see the shenanigans and see me do stuff, that's cool. But let's see if I can get a bleed on Red Hulk. I doubt this is going to happen, but you never know. Holy moly, look at that. We got it. We got the ability block and the trauma. That's crazy good. We're going to go over here with this one. I don't know if this will help me out, but we'll try it. You educate us on yesterday's news. That's right. That's right. I educate you on yesterday's news. She's about to take a turn. Let's put some bleeds on her. Tink. There we go. Hella, get up to bat, damn it. I need to spread that nonsense. Let's go. There we go. Hmm. Do I take the opportunity to kill Red Hulk or let him beat the crap out of his own team for a little bit longer? Oh, I don't have... It doesn't matter. It's AoE either way. So let's do the stun on, on Green Hulk. Oh, never mind. Let's just put a trauma and nothing else on Green Hulk. What was that? How do you get the red... How do you get that? I need to read Zim's kit, man. I don't know how that bleed transferred over. Um, he's 90, he's 77. We'll see if we can't put an ability block on him. Got it! Yay! And we're gonna go... We're gonna go here, put some more bleeds on you. Sorry, Shred Skulls, the drawing already took place. I apologize if that is still up there. I don't know how to unpin things. I don't know how to work my own stream, guys. I don't know if you realize that or not. Was this a one shot or a cleanup? It was a ridiculous punch down. I think it was a 200K punch down, Benny, but this team can, can do some pretty decent punch ups into the gamma on war. I don't know who came up with this. I saw it being featured on Reminex's stream. Although it was kind of interesting because after I saw it on Reminex's stream, I went into my save squads and it was already there in my save squads. But I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't remember putting it into my save squads. I'm not going to take credit for it or anything like that. I just thought it was funny how the same idea had somehow gotten into my save squad roster. What's Steven talking about? Hold on here. Oh, Steven's put up the exclamation point, Ultron. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is... God, I hate these crappy teams. Everything's just garbage. I hate it. What's efficient for this? I know what'll work here. Who cares? Who cares? Dorky Dad's cringing. Dorky Dad's like sweating it out every war battle just like let's go team the the bell rings and his whole alliance just jumps in like it's a pit fight to the death and i'm over here like i don't care let's hit the auto button oh wolverine went the wrong way that's okay Lady D with the cleanup. 
Use your minion team. <laughs> I still want the win. I have a I have an interview with Dorky Dad and Ultron. No, I had an interview with Dorky Dad. Ultron was the giveaway. I was pointing to Dorky saying low bricks was the loop. I don't know how to print. That must be somebody else. I'm American. I don't know foreign stuff like geography, social studies, culture, anything that involves anything outside of like fast food restaurants. Because I know what a quarter pounder with cheese is called over in Europe. Lou Bricks was the player who came up with the Dorm Undying Tangled Web team. Okay. Well, credit to Lou Bricks if that's how you pronounce their name. Lou Bricks is a solid player. Do they post to YouTube? If they post to YouTube, I need to subscribe to them. It's pronounced like Lou Bricks. Okay. Why did the third pounder fail at McDonald's? Come on, strategist, don't leave me hanging. Why'd the third pounder fail at McDonald's? Just a guy who doesn't have a YouTube channel? Okay. Yeah, I like when, because there's there's a bunch of people who, like, like Dorky Dad, he was just making some videos for his alliance, and you come across him and you find him, you're like, that's good stuff. And I like, I, like, Ciro's been making videos for me and other people, and I'm like, dude, Ciro, you... You, you could make content. You could. It's not a joke. I was waiting for a punchline strategist. Oh my God. Because people are dumb and thought one third was less than one quarter. That's probably true, Exara. That is probably true. Yeah, that's probably true. You're literally recording on your phone. That's okay, so you're, you can record the match on your phone and then talk over. In fact, I think that makes for better content. Rather than trying to do it, like, like Mobile just put out a video where he was testing out the raids at 3.5 and he's playing it while he's talking about it and he's a little bit distracted. It's why I don't like doing serious war attacks when I'm on stream. I don't like doing serious attempts at stuff while I'm on stream because I'm I'm trying to engage chat. I'm trying to read, read what chat is saying. I'm trying to hang out with my friends and just kind of have a good time. And then I'm also trying to focus on what's going on on the screen and it doesn't work out, the, you know? So when mobile does that, he makes little mistakes and his content isn't as good as it could be. So I think the best way to do it is record the match on your phone. Make sure you did it just right. Then come back and talk about it. And don't be afraid to show the matches that went wrong because that helps people too. It helps people to see, oh, hey, I did it once and I did this and it went totally awry. In fact, Dorky Dad had one where he was talking about the Bionic Avengers and he showed the two different ways he went about it and he clicked one and it went one way and he clicked another and he was successful and it was the difference between the two uh, choosing the special or the ultimate. And so those really help people. Don't, don't ever shy away from showing your failures. People can learn so much from those. You have to do it all live. Oh, so you record on your phone via the mic while you do it. There's free software out there. You can get Filmora, like Wondershare X or Filmora X Wondershare. I'm pretty sure they've got some free software out there. There's lots of free editing software to do just that. And then you can use the camera on your phone with a, a sheet. I'm pointing at this like you guys can fucking see it, but there's a chroma key filter. <laughs> Um, you could just get a $20 green sheet of cloth from Walmart and hang it up behind you, film your camera. Hell, there's free software out there that will edit stuff away. You don't even need to buy the, the, the green screen. Or don't even worry about that. You can do a voice recording, like play on your phone, play the video on your phone. And if you have an older phone or your girlfriend's phone or whatever, you can record a, the voiceover while you do it, and then you can combine the two in some software that's pretty cheap as well. 
and you just have audio while the video plays. That way you can play it to your best and have some good audio over it as well. Right behind this war-torn helicarrier is a green screen and the rest of his living quarters. <laughs> or thirds. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know, and we have the replay in war now. Isn't that cool? Shit, I should've asked James about that. Going through the histories and hitting the replays. I wonder, hold on, does it, can I look at the enemy teams? Hold on, let's do, let's do this, hold on. We're gonna go over here and I don't know, I, I didn't test this. Where am I? I think I'm over here. I wanna see, cause somebody attacked into me. Holy crap, I can watch the other peoples. Oh my goodness, I can see how they beat my teams! Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing! Let's watch this! Okay, that's obvious one right there. They used Black Order to punch down into that, okay. They used Ravagers into Uncanny and failed. This is a huge punch down into this team. I want to see how this team works. I've got a joke for you since Strategist Shiro didn't deliver, huh? Go for it, miniatures. I love lame, cheesy jokes. Can I slow it down? Oh, I, I can slow it down too? Holy crap! Well, I don't want to go that slow, but I want to actually see this take place. Watch this. Oh no. Okay, so they crushed that team. That wasn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be. How do I get out of that? How do you organize a space party? I don't know, miniatures. How do you organize a space party? You plan it, oh my God. Oh my God, how did I not see that coming? Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Alliance. <laughs> One of the many reasons Super Troopers will never be recruiting me. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Didn't know that it went back to that screen. I, I was unaware. I was unaware. <laughs> okay, so... I was under the impression that my team beat them. Okay, so they beat my team, but that wasn't the first one. Here's the one I wanted to watch. Okay, so this is a 823 Axemen into my 600 under Mercs. Under, under Hydra Mercs. What would you get if you crossed Captain America with Hulk? The Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Hydra wear. <laughs> All right, this is two times speed. They're trying to go into my Mercs. Let's see what happens here. Watching failures that weren't run sevens. Isn't this great? This is totally new to me. I never get to watch failures that aren't my own. So this is how it plays out if you guys wanted to know. Actually got pretty good with the AI targeting choices there. You know, getting rid of, of Beast and Jubilee before going after these ninnies. Undermerks sound like a brand of underwear they sell in Soldier of Fortune magazine. <laughs> Yeah, under Mercs for the win, or Hydra wear, <laughs> your choice. I like that team, but then again, I'm, I'm biased. I love, I love um, Taskmaster. Bony McSkullface. <laughs> oh fuck it, there's my alliance layout. I keep forgetting to switch scenes. <laughs> fuck it, there's my alliance layout. Who cares? All right, uh, let's go. Oh wait, that's, oh, that's my offensive alliance. Never mind. I didn't show them. We're good, we're good. Here we go. Wait, 
Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, never mind. I was showing my alliance layout after all. Yeah, I showed everybody everything. Let's see here. So let's go to the beginning. That's usually where the one shots take place. All right. People in my alliance still do boosts? Wow, that's crazy. I don't boost at all. It's a total waste of that currency for me. My alliance doesn't care about war. They just want us to get our attacks in when events are running. So no one really cares. Let's see, they are destroying, absolutely destroyed my H4H -H team. Um, they, that was probably overkill. I think they could have got through there without using Undying in conjunction with my with their Eternals. That was probably some pretty big overkill. Got my trash team. Here's another trash team. That's the one. Oh, the combat cancel on this? How did that go awry? Look at that, two combat cancels there. You don't get to replay combat cancels. I wanna know why they combat canceled. But look at that, the Eternals didn't do it either time. Uh, they beat me there, that was a, <laughs> okay. And then we're, we're up here. That was a loss. There was a combat cancel. And then they were able to get Kingpin. So let's see how this goes awry. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? 10 tickles. Thank you for putting the punchline right at the end, miniatures. Had I waited around for that punchline, I would have felt like I, like I probably invested more into that joke than was necessary. What's up, Lord Richter? Did that match already lose? Wow, look at that. Flor... Floris... Floris XI, is that how I pronounce that? Floris XI with the, with the follow? Thank you for the follow, Floris. Appreciate that. There's more of my alliance, okay. So that's it, let's go finish up these two last attacks here. How does the Hulk feel when he wears a suit? He looks smashing. Okay, I like that one. I kind of like that one. Oh, uh, I don't think I have a symbiotes on offense or I'd, or I'd go for that. I missed that. I did too, shit shake. I was looking at chat and I missed the whole match. That's all right. I rewatch all of my own content because I'm a narcissist. No, I actually, so no joke guys. I make myself laugh. I make the joke that I make content for myself. I fucking do. I actually do make content for myself because sometimes there's nobody to watch on YouTube or whatever and I need to cheer myself up. So I make the happiest content I possibly fucking can, laugh about as much shit as I possibly can because I know that I am going to be editing my own content, trying to learn from what I was doing in game and how I was producing content, learn from my mistakes, figure out new ideas to make better content and things like that because I watch my content and I go, do I enjoy watching this? It, like that's the meter of ever, am I doing a good job? And I tell you what, I make myself laugh all the time and my wife laughs at me for it because it's the dumbest thing. She's like, you're watching yourself again, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm fucking hilarious. I'm fucking hilarious. By the way, run seven. You're a sexy guy, buddy. Keep watching. <laughs> See that? I just talked to myself in the future. That's some next level shit right there. And you guys don't fucking care, but I'm gonna make myself laugh later today when I rewatch this stream. Rorix knows, there you go. Rorix knows, I am fucking hilarious. <laughs> I tell people all the time, oh yeah, I wanna make people laugh. I'm, I'm here for the community to help educate and inform and, and bring a smile to people. Honestly, <laughs> I'm here to make myself laugh and make myself feel good. It's true. <laughs> okay. Is there anything faster than the old school Wakanda? I don't know, but I think my Infinity Watch on 100% punch down can probably handle it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Run 7 is Marty McFly, just a little bit older. <laughs> Dude, 
I don't care what anybody says, Back to the Future 3 is still a valid time travel movie. I think it's good, I do. I actually was, I, I found that there's a movie about a guy on a dirt bike that happened just before uh, the Back to the Future and they got, I don't even know who to, who cares. Let's just go here. I think I can go this one and then hit auto. They're, they, I can't remember the name of it, but it's this dude who rides a red, uh, a red dirt bike and he accidentally gets caught in a scientific experiment and travels back into the old west on his dirt bike and he has some of the funniest cheesiest lines he's the guy from trevor tremors one not kevin bacon his co-star and he stars in it and he he's all about his motorbike and it's it's a funny movie totally went under the radar pretty decent time travel movie and i am almost certain that Back to the Future 3 took some notes from that movie. Yeah, who the hell trashes Back to the Future 3? That's right. When do we get Run 7 watching Run 7 reaction stream? That's not a bad idea. Q20, that's not a bad idea. That could make for some entertaining content. And as time progresses, I could just layer that thing again and again and again. <laughs> Burt Gummer, I'm pretty sure. Burt Gummer, AKA Michael Gross. Yes, I think that's his name. Run seven watching run seven. Time Rider, thank you, Lord Richter. Time Rider, yeah, that's it. That was it. <laughs> He's like, I'll just hit this button here and it goes full adult. <laughs> what was it? What's the term? Full adult, full adult motel. I'll just hit this button right here and it goes full adult motel. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> such a, such stupid lines in that movie. Oh, Ambassador, did you time rider? Oh, you did. I'm sorry. Credit to Ambassador. My bad. My bad. I gotta suck up to Lord Richter. He's in my alliance. He's in my raid shard. And if I don't treat him really nicely, he'll target me every time. And I'm fucking lazy when it comes to arena these days. And I, I really don't want to have to keep climbing back up that list. Lord Richter, I hit you like one time last week. So leave me alone, would you? Okay, let's try this. I think, oh, did I use my Weapon X already? Son of a gun. I used my Weapon X already. Eh. My ego needs every gold star I can get. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Here we go. Let's get rid of this one. I like Fred Ward and Tremors. There's some of those Tremors movies, man. They had the opportunity to come back with some really good sequels and they just didn't try that hard. They kind of went for cash grabs and then it just turned into like, hey, everybody knows this is a B movie, like lame-o kind of thing. Let's go here. Remo Williams? What's Remo Williams? Gotta write that down. When you guys talk about good movies, I always write it down because I am a huge movie buff. I specifically like science fiction and time travel and shit like that. I'll check out Remo Williams. Is it Remo? Remo Williams? Okay. I'll check it out. Speaking of good movies, there's the Army of Darkness. One of my favorites. Blazing Saddles was the shit passing win. No, no doubt about it. Can't go wrong with some of the classics. I like zombie movies as well, miniatures, but I got burnt out on them. The Walking Dead came out and was so popular that everybody just started producing zombie movie after zombie movie after zombie movie. But I really liked The Walking Dead and the re... Not, uh, Night of the Living Dead and the remakes of Night of the Living Dead and some of the spin-offs of Night of the Living Dead. But by the time it got to like stripper zombies, which wasn't terrible, I was kind of getting over the whole zombie thing. 
We're gonna need more dimes. Remo Williams 2, the adventure continues. You know what? I'm starting to remember Remo Williams now that you said Remo Williams 2, the adventure continues. I, that's, that's tingling a bell in the back of my brain. I recently watched a great time travel show on Amazon. I say great, it was terrible, but they played it into that and made it great. Can't remember what it was though. Egg Zara, don't fucking tease me. Stop teasing me like that. I, I always say one of the best, most accurate, crazy, and hard to follow time travel movies is Primer. It's an indie film, super low budget, absolutely blow your mind. I had to watch it like four times just to have an idea of what was going on. It was so complex. Yeah, Primer, That's it was, it's amazing. Right, I saw a timeline of Primer. They, they had like the timeline of it. It looked like a ball of yarn, it's crazy. Uncommon Valor with Gene Hackman. Uncommon Valor's good. Watch the original Willow last night. Yeah, you don't need to watch it to jump into the show. They they just cut to the movie every time they need to because Disney owns the rights to both of them. So they just cut to the movie to show any backstory that you might have missed. I'm I'm gonna I need to get back to finishing that series. Last Man on Earth is a great movie, made in '64. Oh, there's an old Last Man on Earth. I must have seen the remake. The crew from Dark did 1899. The crew, for, it, what's the, is the movie called Dark or is it 1899? <clears throat> Memento isn't a time travel movie, but it's pretty, yeah, I like Memento, that was good. You know what, I kind of liked the original butterfly effect. I liked how, and a little bit of a spoiler here, I'll try not to spoil it, but they made things happen in the movie and then later, he goes back in time and you discover why they happened and I thought that was cool. Cocaine Bear M Check out Cocaine Bear and Megan. Okay. Cocaine Bear and Megan. The Warriors, yeah, the jingle in the bell, the the bottles together. Yeah, that's classic, man. 19, oh, 1899, the new show on Netflix where they're on the boat. I, You know what? I watched the first two episodes of that. It's too slow for me. I can't get into it. Does it get better, Relic? If it gets better, I'll give it another shot, but I was kind of having trouble holding on to it. Betty Winside throwing up Harry Potter. Look at you go, buddy. Wear it with pride. I fucking hate Harry Potter, but I ain't gonna... If, you, if you're into it, man, go for it. I, I've watched most of the Harry Potter movies. I've read some of the books and I'm just not a fan, you know? Philadelphia Experiment, time, the, yeah! Philadelphia Experiment's fantastic. Dark? What's dark? Is dark playing on something? If it's streaming someplace, let me know so I can put a note in there. I hate having to search different streaming things. Do I have to do any more of these? Yes, I do. Son of a bitch. Can I just throw something big at this? Like, I don't know, Eternals? Here. I think I can just do this and hit auto, right? <clears throat> Lord of the Rings have time travel if you consider Gandalf dying, becoming one with the universe, and then being sent back. That's a stretch passing wind. Netflix, thanks. Put a dash with an N. One I want to watch is... So, there's, what's it on? I think it's on Amazon or Hulu. I can't remember the name, it slips my mind, but they wear this headset and they go into like a virtual world. They can, they can control artificial bodies in it. It looks pretty good. I can't remember the show, but it looks, it looks pretty good. I want to check that one out. Benny, we're talking about anything. Oh, Prisoner of Azkaban, time travel. I see what you're saying. Ready Player One is the shit. Uh, but uh, the problem I had with Ready, Ready Player One is it's one of those, and people say this all the time, and I'm sorry to regurgitate it. The book was just so much better. And I read the book beforehand. So I watched the movie and I was like, that's a cool movie. But the movie was 20% of what the book was. 
The only time that the movie, in my opinion, the only time I can think of that the movie was better than the book <clears throat> was Fight Club. And that's because it is almost word for word. And I just really enjoy the acting and the visuals and the music to Fight Club. I love the the sound editing on that, how they, they went to a meat packing plant and they punched things like big old things of, of pork, they punched it and they recorded those sounds and the punching sounds so much more realistic in Fight Club. Peripheral? Peripheral. I, I, I saw that, I mean I saw the um, I haven't watched it yet, but I know what peripheral is and I need to watch that. Yeah, that's the one, peripheral, thank you. Peripheral. That's the one, I think that's the one on uh, Amazon, right? Or Amazon Prime or Hulu, can't remember. It's one of those that I don't have right now. Uh, I did this, we're good here. Let's go, let's go do other things. Can I start playing Marvel Strike Force or are we still saving shit? Oh, it's only noon, we're still saving shit. Equilibrium, sorry, Ciro, you're right. Equilibrium's the one I'm talking about. Peripheral is also good. No, no, Equilibrium is the one with um, with uh, the Batman, right? Peripheral is Prime. Equilibrium is the one where they 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 modulate their emotions, and there's some sword fighting in it, right? Christian Bale, yeah, that's Equilibrium. That was a kick-ass movie, man. That was playing off of those Matrix vibes, was that one. With the actress from Kick-Ass. Yeah, Game of Thrones show is better than the books because Martin won't friggin' finish the books. <laughs> What's up, Body Dottie? Thank you for the subscription, buddy. I appreciate that. You're awesome. American Psycho, fantastic. I did not like the sequel to American Psycho, but... What's her name that played in the sequel? And again, my brain don't work so good. What's her name that played in the sequel to American Psycho? She's gorgeous. She's an amazing actress, and I, I'm a big fan of hers, but I just didn't like the sequel. It, it, I couldn't put my finger on it. It just didn't... It, is That's what's tough with sequels of really good movies. Travelers? I've seen Travelers. I've seen Travelers. That's good. I kind of felt kind of, Travelers and there was the there was another one on Netflix. They wrapped them both up. They finished the story but they rushed it because it got canceled, but they did it for the fans and finished it. It felt very rushed at the end. Devil's Pass, which is a rabbit hole in itself, so it's really interesting. That's cool. The Deltov Pass, huh? I'll check that one out, Cherby. Devil's Pass. Okay, I need to do things. Oh wait, I can't collect any of this stuff because it might be needed for something at reset. Uh, I could probably go shop the store. I think that's safe. Audi Dotty for the sub? Yeah, I think Audi Dotty for the sub. I told them they're fucking awesome. But they already knew that. Okay, the store is already refreshed, so I don't need to do that. Doesn't look like we're gonna be playing anymore. Oh no, son of a gun. There's two things that we need to do. I need to do my crucible attacks and I need to record the defense up video, which I almost completely forgot about. Let's get the defense up video recorded real quick. All right, we're gonna go to Discord. I think, this is, uh... hold on a second. All right, sweet, mad scientist, got your address. Thank you for that. Oh, Juicy knows dorky dad secrets. Good ones, though, good ones. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second. Let's go. I need to bring up this. Uh, we can drop the thing, and we can go here to this. Defense up. We're going to knock this one out. YouTube, we're back. I've got Juicy and hopefully soon Ciro on the line with me. We're going to be doing my Crucible attacks. Uh, we dropped the music because that usually has problems with uh, Discord these days for some weird reason. Am I in or no? No, we can't hear you at all, Ciro. <laughs> Damn it. Dumbest joke ever, I know. All right, so 
Here's what we're working with. I got the Hero Asgard at 809. I think I can use my uh, new warriors with uh, Star Lord, with OG Star Lord and Spider Man on that, probably. I could do an A Force with Doom over here on these guys. Bionic Avengers for number three is what I'm thinking right there. We've got this SA team with Red Guardian and Zemo. I'm not sure about. I've never gone into this team in Crucible with the latent power attribute. I don't know about that. Over here, we've got uh, Red Hulk with the Gamma team in the bio room. That's going to be... Ah, if I'm using... Let's see. If I'm using A-Force with Doom over here... I won't have Doom here, and I think I should probably use the Doom. I don't know. What do you what do you guys think? Should I use should I use Doom counter over here or the A Force with Doom on the YA? What do you think's the, the better choice? What do you have for offense again? Almost everything. Uh, I think I've got like Infinity Watch on defense and and stuff. It's easier for me to show you what I what I have on defense than it is to show you. So I've got Infinity Watch on defense. I've got Dark Hold with the um Oh, wow, they came into that hard and fast, didn't they? I've got Darkhold with Undying on defense. I've got the X, uh, Astonishing X-Men with Magneto and Dark Beast. And I've got the Uncanny on defense. And I've got YA on defense. And finally, I've got Gamma and Six on defense. So that's what I can't use. Well, I'm an idiot. I'm totally confused here because I did not realize that we were here helping you do your attacks. I was thinking this was like a defense up video. So, well, you can still <laughs> tell me what would you know? What would you you could see, Ro, you have a very limited roster. So you come up with some crazy ideas about going into stuff. My choke, yeah. my choke point, I think, is going to be where do I use Doom in five or over here in um, two? I think there's a lot more counters that you that you're going to be able to use in number two. So I think um, using that Doom on Gamma personally is, is what I would probably do if I had Doom built. Yeah. Uh, I mean, because you're going to unlimited number six, right? I'll pre yeah, I'll unlimited six. Yeah. And you have Darkhold on. Uh, I have Darkhold available, so I could Darkhold number four if that's going to be an issue, or I could Darkhold uh, number two. I don't think number four is going to be an issue for you. Okay. I've I'll, also got SA Kestrel, so I could SA Kestrel this probably. Yeah, you can. Uh, I was going to say Dorm Hold uh, five. Just just hit it, hit it with the sledgehammer. Dorm Hold five? Yep. Okay. Just I've it, never it, done it, Dorm it, Hold into Gamma, but it, it's in five, so yeah, I should be able to, right? I mean, it's pretty idiot proof. You just literally just hit it auto and it'll just kill everything i hate when you guys set the fucking bar like that it's pretty idiot proof and then i step up to the plate <laughs> and i prove you wrong them. let them do their job <laughs> okay so you think dorm hold for five we can use the a force with doom on two that'll be hyper efficient there <clears throat> i can use my nifty um uh God, my brain ain't working today. I, uh, new Warriors over here on one. BA there. I could SA Kestrel this if I needed to. Well, then and then do you do Eternals? This. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I've got Eternals also. I've got Eternals too. So, I mean, you know, there... <sighs> If, if you've got if that I don't know that counter very well that one that uh, that Juicy's got for number one that you were talking about using with the new warriors I don't know that very well but I've seen some of his videos that he's done on that and it seems like it just absolutely crushes um, you know e Eternals are quite versatile you know you could use them for two three or four yeah um, very easily yeah I would so, use them on two you think Eternals on two I would do Eternals and dying and Surfer. I don't have Undying. I don't have Undying. No, I am. They're on defense. That's so. I'm kind of thinking Eternals on four. Yeah. Um, and one one thing you could do with that too. I don't know how it would, how it would play out, but if you could wait till second term to alt with um, with Icarus and get that uh, Cap Sam under control. You could alt with Icarus and double tap into the minions that Maria Hill's going to spawn. That was one thing you could do. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if that would be more efficient or not, though, because I don't know how much damage you're going to end up taking from them. They don't have a Kestrel in there to give you a lot of damage. So I'm pretty sure I could bring Zima low or even. Mm, no, because I won't strip the taunt from Red Guardian without bringing in my own Zima. Do I could you have your own. I think I do have my own. Let me let me take a look at this. Let me take a look at this one, because this one's kind of kind of a hot if mess in here. If you've got a Zemo and a speed modifier, you could run in, um, hit their Zemo with your Zemo, because it'll strip the taunt from Red Guardian, hit their Zemo with your Zemo, bring your internals in with that as well, and um, not that speed modifier. And then double tap off Zemo. Um, either like Cable, Emma, uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury will give that speed up. Yeah, and I would put Kestrel in there just for good measure. Or really? You want me to break up my SA Kestrel? Come on, guys. Yeah, you know I like to have 12 offensive work. teams available at all times. What, what are you doing? You think I should bring Kestrel here? I don't think that's a bad idea. Overkill, you know. If you're not using her. Yeah, I, I don't think I need it because I still have I still have Tangled Web too. <laughs> so if you're using Kestrel, that means you've lost. My internals go to waste here this last CC, and I felt like a piece of crap about it, honestly. I mean, because if you if you're needing Kestrel to clean up something, that means you've already lost. So okay, yeah, all six wins. Yeah, okay. Let's try this one then. Let's let's give this a go. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Benny says I should leave this one for the final two. Oops, too late. Yeah, you probably should have left that for a little bit later, but that's all right though. I mean, it's it looks like your counters that you have available to you right now are going to work very well. Yeah, and I, I have more counters than what I need. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then special with Kestrel. Uh, don't kill Zemo. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably basic. Or there, there you go. There you go. Is That's this all? This all should kill yep. Zemo, right? Yep. It should. That all should give you the double tap. Oh, uh, why are we on speed two? Yep. Okay, that helped. And then special here should wipe out most of these. And then. And then that alt should do it for you, and you're done. All right, that was easy. That was easy. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Lord Richter, I still have Weapon X for offense. I have all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, what I end up usually having to do with um, moderate to large size gammas, and I, I end up having to use um, Omega Red with... Lady Deathstrike with my Eternals, just because I'm so limited on options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, use, uh, I use Undying um, New Warriors on YA, but that's super inefficient. But then again, I don't play it. efficiency. I play attempts. So. Yeah, you're, you're going, I you're going defense. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that, that counter to you. But that's what I would usually use. Because it's too slow for you. I want to switch over to a turtle defense. I do. I'm just not there yet. I, I keep... I, you know what? And this would be the time to do it when we're on Age of X for the second go-around. This would be the time to do it because I would have so much more time to get used to these room bonuses and everything. So I, I probably should, but whatever. Okay, flip those negative effects, please. Thank you. Blind them. Let's go. And we'll do... There's nobody with a vulnerable? How come we're not landing vulnerables? I haven't been able to see what your ISOs are. Oh, I have Striker on Viv and Hulkbuster. No. Yeah. Um, he's got ability block. We'll go for these guys over here, I think. Ugh, man, that was ugly. Dodge, evade, blind. He's got ability block. Let's see if we can't. She's blinded and <sighs> just hit that ability block on Gwen. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, there's you're gonna dodge there. That's yeah. not unavoidable. Cannot be blocked or dodged. Get out of here. And Zappo. And there it is. <clears throat> as long as your dorm is Raider, FYI. Yeah, my, my, 
my doom is Raider. I have Raider on Doom, Omega Red, Doom Red Guardian, Star Lord, or Loki I'm on Gamma with Omega Red. You have Tangled Web on, web on offense too, right? Yes, I, I got Tangled Web on offense too. Yeah, my defense is all minions, basically. <laughs> Not quite, but I would, almost. I would throw, well. What do you think? Dude, I'm thinking for two, you use Tangled Web, Doom, and a couple of schmucks and just blow it up. I'm just thinking speed wise. It's going to be faster than. Tangled Web and Doom would be faster for this, you think? And more efficient than an A Force Doom? Yep. Okay. Because A Force Doom. Be... Oh, go ahead. Uh, it's just A Force has that one thing where it misses energy to Doom and that can be very. I don't know. Yeah. There's it, a risk you could fail. There's a, there's a 20% chance of, of it going awry. Maybe not complete failure, but it could be pretty bad. So I'll put the team in. We'll talk about it and we'll come back and before I hit the button. I think that um, you should probably hit that gamma first since you've never done that attack with that dorm hold. Yeah. And I, I've seen your luck in some cases, man. No offense, but I've seen your luck. All um, right. That's sound advice. I'm not going to, I'm not going to shy away from it. It's, it's the truth. It's the truth. So but that, that way you still have more options on the table for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it doesn't work, it you still have some options on the table. Uh, she's calling Wong for the, I don't know. God, I need to change that. And my dorm's a baby dorm and he's on defense. So I'll have Juicy guide you through this one because I don't know this one. There we go. Looking good? Yep. What's going to be my first target? Because um, it's going to be MLF's ultimate that leads off. I think you stun Green Hulk with Agatha and then you stun... Red Hulk with Dorm. Okay. Yeah, because you want the trauma from Dorm. Where is it? Hold on. Let's see you play it out. Who do I want to target with the ultimate for... I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it hits everybody and then spreads it. Yeah. I, I would say probably target um, Hulk. Green Hulk, Hulk and spread it to She-Hulk, hopefully. And you're not getting a charge on Red Hulk. Yeah. Well, I mean... Oh, yeah, because it's Crucible. God, yeah. yeah. All right, yep, stun yep. over yep. here. I would, I would Oh shoot! Oh no! Yeah, you want to stun Red Hulk so he's stunning both charges because one. Oh, Red I was stunned, I was supposed to stun Green Hulk and I stunned uh, Abomination Lucky. for some reason. Well, at least you had the disrupt on him, so. Yeah, Green Hulk ain't doing anything because he's gonna open with his special and he's already disrupted. All right, what do I want to do? Taunt. Um, should I rewind She Hulk? Wait, that disrupted is not on Green. It's Hulk, not on Green Hulk. No, it's not. So I'll rewind him then, so he doesn't taunt. He's he's rewound though. He's got hardly any turn meter at all. Rewind. Uh, I was thinking rewind She Hulk, so she doesn't taunt. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See, he has barely any turn meter. And then, oh, he's got immunity. He'll be okay. Just just hit it on him. Okay. I told you guys, idiot proof. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay, this doesn't clear the immunity, so we got to go someplace else with it. Who has a vulnerable? Target yeah, target someone with a vulnerable. <laughs> oh man, that's going to that's going to suck. Screw that up. Let's go back over here. Uh, over here for these three and yeah go for it i'll put the vulnerable on red hulk yep three charges on red hulk and we don't have any stun saved up do we nope no, but you got dorm result coming just do it on Red Hulk. That should kill most, almost everybody. And I still have the revives on my team because we're not going against hero mutants. Uh, I'm just, I'm so pissed at myself for not targeting Hulk in the first place. She's taunting. We're stuck behind it. Maybe I can clear that. Nope. You're going to need... 
I'm gonna heart this. How big is your heart list? Because this is where. Uh, he's not fantastic. He's not fantastic. He's got defense down. This is the big one. He's got offense down, though, but he's got offense up also. I don't know. We'll see. Ugh. No. No. Oh, who's got the most? I... She-Hulk. 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 Yeah. Let's go. He's got that. Uh, he's got stacks and stacks proof, of death proof. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, he cleared all those bleeds, that silly guy. Okay, come on. There we go. There it uh, is. Okay, this was not my favorite play of the day here. But hey, we got a lot. You know, we we got the W. But man, that one that one sucked. Yeah, I don't. I, I, the the uh, dorm doom comp. I probably would have lost at least one character. Probably Red Guardian. So I don't know which one would would have been better. This one took a lot more turns. But the other one, I would have lost at least one character, if not two. So who knows? I, I think you're fine. That was just um the rewind should have went to um braun but to keep the immunity off and then red hulk would have been stunned and it would have been a cakewalk yeah, so but you can't really you know. yes yes uh testing the boundaries of the term idiot proof okay all right so what did we want to do with ya we were going to go eternals and tangled web Either that or a, a Force Doom, one of the two. You got two options here that I think will both be really, will do really well. I would do Tangle Web, Doom, SL in the corner, all over in the corner, and then I'm trying to think who I'd bring as a fifth. Probably just big damage like Omega. Okay, so if I'm doing that, then I'm using the Eternals on the Hasgard. You're using the New Warriors Boom on. On the Hazard. Okay, but doesn't that require Star Lord? Oh yeah. Then don't use Star Lord. Yeah. You can. Uh, just well, bring you it. Eternal's new warrior. Um, I mean. No, he already uses new warriors. Uh, I haven't used new new warriors yet. This one doesn't. Uh, Omega Doom and Sam Cap. Oh, we want Doom in the middle. Omega to one side and Sam Cap. Where? I think I passed him already. Didn't I? He's on the very top. Yep, there he is. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Once Doom ults, it's over. Oh, yeah, Benny, I did use Eternals, didn't I? You're right. I used the Eternals, so that's not happening. I, I think I got to save Star Lord and the New Warriors for. Hero Asgard. Um. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's the never mind. Duh. Okay. We're gonna put the stun over here. So we don't get a cleanse or a heal. We'll put a vulnerable on KDB. We're going to shoot. Yeah, we'll just use this here. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of defense downs. I kind of, you sure? You're blinded. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's already done. Who's up for a turn? Kate Bishop's up for a turn. We're going to try an ability. Um, we're going to get rid of those deflex, keep everybody even Steven here. Okay, time to focus on Squirrel Girl. I don't need her taking a turn. The bleeds should, this should easily kill her off. They kill off like half a oh, wow. Time. Yeah, okay. I think the basic does more damage, so we'll just, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doom stood there the whole time doing nothing. Better than him just sitting on the bench. 
Yeah, I guess. All right, let's go use the unlimited team here first. This is going to be a little bit scary for me. I know it's probably going to be an absolute cakewalk, but it always unnerves me at first. Do I want to sub anybody out with anybody else? I don't think so, right? We're good. Straight yeah, unlimited. Right. Okay. Try and kill Dormammu first, or is there something I want to specifically take advantage of? Just shut down MLF? Rewind MLF. Rewind yeah. MLF? Yeah, with the rogue special. Okay. Ooh, landed them all. That was nice. Of course, I guess it's Age of X, so... Um, ability block Dormammu, or will that even stick? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe block... Um, you can't You can't AV block him. Oh, I, I can't. Five. I can't. It's no, not... No, uh, Wong. Wong. Yeah, defense up in one of the highest resistances in the game. I don't know. No, he has, he has something in his kit. I just forget what it is. Oh, it's stuck. All right. Look at that. That's cool. Stay away from that ugly taunt. For AJ, or 500 focus for Ajax, I think. Oh, okay. I can't wait till this Ajax thing is done. It is so ridiculous. Oh, it's, yeah, it drives me nuts. Okay. What the hell does this do? Flip negative Ability effects. Block. Ability block the primary target. So do we want to try and put this on Wong again? Either Wong or Agatha, either one. Agatha's going to come out with a stun. That will, that will happen on Rogue, but she'll have immunity, so let's go ahead and let her do it. Uh, special, then ultimate? No, it's going to be flip. Just... Uh this ult on MLF. Uh, immunity there. We'll just go ahead and ability block her. Now you go all in on Dorm. Will the stun stick? More than likely, because she not only does she have the extra focus oh, from trying to kill him, you're just trying to kill him, right? Oh, here. we're just trying to okay, so it's just the damage. Who cares? About the only way that you lose this is if Dorm ults and so that double tap should. Do you have a skirmisher? Yes, that would have killed him if that was a strike. Do you think that Maybe. ISO attack would have uh. Oh, it would have killed him. Half his life? Yeah. Well, also, you got to think here, with Age of X, he would have been doing way more damage. My, my rogue isn't as big as I wanted her to be. Let's do... Yeah, we'll get rid of Agatha here, and then I think this should get rid of... Kill everybody? Yeah, kill I, can't, everybody. I can't target anybody else, so... That should kill them all. Yeah, you don't know the power of my fire chicken. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> yeah, that was a wet noodle right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like um, Starfire. He's just... I, he just... Uh, that's my result with Starfire. I never get this big devastating AoE like everybody else does. It's very frustrating. <clears throat> That's how I feel with my Red Hulk. My Red Hulk, like, I feel like he takes one or two hits and he just dies. Yeah. I've got him 5'5". Five, five. I don't remember if he's 85 or 90, and I got him teal. And it just feels like everything kills him. Okay, so we were talking about doing the... We got... It's something like this team right here 823 into 809 now keep in mind i don't have any t4s in dagger so this usually leaves sif standing on the field and then i have to clean her up so how, let's okay. let's do let's do a point check here how many points do i need to beat thorgrim um, looks like 8200 that's pretty easy to do. Judging by the rest of your 
attacks, I would say that this is going to be very difficult to not pass that. I mean, you should you should be you able to do a pretty sloppy like, attack. Yeah, you have to be down to like one tune to lose. All right. Well, the thing is, um, now I would switch cloak and uh, oh, sorry, yeah, cloak and death bowl. This is a quick tactical. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so. And I used to be a wallet player, and I would wallet my way to victory. I've got the T4s to spend, so we're spending them. And now it'll work. Now it should just absolutely devastate this. So you said move, change the placement of Death Pool and who? Cloak. Death Pool and Cloak. Come on. Death Pool and Cloak. We're going to just put you in here. And, and the reason being is that um, Dagger is going to give for the offense up. Off the, for, for those extra pings. I don't think that's going to happen, though, just, just because D Dagger doesn't actually give that offense up until after she takes her turn. And what should end up happening on this is after she takes her turn, they should be dead, shouldn't they? Yep. Hopefully. But if not, I want that offense up on death pool. So she goes and slices and dices Sif and takes her out. Right. Right. All right. So this is basically, they shouldn't, if everything goes well, they shouldn't even take a turn. That's correct. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> okay. Alt. Special. Oh, sorry. Ultimate. Sorry, forgot ultimate wait, here. Wait, stop. Okay. Uh, with the OG, go ahead and put that on uh, Sith. Put the, no. Oh. He's just doing stuff, Juicy. I know, but you can pull the defense down with the skirmisher on SL. Once he gets going, Leron Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it worked. It worked. That's about as efficient as it can get. If I just don't, if I don't take Juicy's advice, what what were you trying to tell me to do, Juicy? What was I supposed to do differently? So the skirmisher would have removed the defense up on Sif, and Sif would have died. Oh, okay. Luckily, Sif died. 5189 for the victory over Thorgrim. Thorgrim, you suck. I'm the greatest ever. Um, no. <laughs> uh, Thorgrim had a great run against me. Thorgrim, thank you for being my opponent this time. I appreciate it. Remember, everyone, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I know Ciro and Juicy, and they helped me get through this one today. So thank you guys. That was fantastic. I am trying my best to get good at this game mode and, and be a little bit better. Hey, Excellent. Us, man. Appreciate it. All right. And I think with that, I'm going to shut down stream. So let's go raid somebody. Uh, who's, who's streaming today? Let's see. We have mobile gamer playing Marvel snap. Uh, we got cools doing it and zero network. I almost never get to raid cool. Let's go to zero cool gamer today. Uh, slash raid. All right. Thanks everybody for joining me. Thank you to the guys on voice. And thank you for chat joining me. This was a, a really fun day for me. We made lots of mistakes and had a lot of laughs. And I got to interview Dorky Dad, who's one of my favorite content creators. And it was a, a great time. So we will be back Friday interviewing Reaper with another giveaway. Catch us then. I've got a few more people on lock for interviews. I still have to lock down two more, waiting to hear back from some of them. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys Friday. Bye.